So as we talked about in class, this is your games and app project rubric. You must collect at least 10 different apps. You must explain and describe each app on your website uh, with a link to them if possible. And then you must also collect 25 websites explaining and describe each website. And these must have links attached to them. So some examples, I think I've showed some of these in class. This is a great app called 2048. You can play it on the computer, but it's obviously also an app that you can download on any phone. So if you ever never played this app, this is a totally addictive app. Your idea is to get one tile that is equal to 2048. You see how they kind of multiply, or is it really addition? And you only have to get one tile that's equal to 2048. Right now my highest tile is 32, and now I have a 64 tile. Can you get one tile that's the highest, which is 2048, before all the tiles uh, fill your screen and you lose? So this is a terrific game. You can download it on any device, and it's more of an app than a website. Some websites that I like, this is one called Academic Skill Builders. And why I like this particular site is because you can play virtual play, virtual play against other people that's totally live. So I can just go ahead and type in my name. And then I can virtual play. I can create a game, a public game, and I can play against other people. Here's me. Here's other people from around the world. Gunner, this guy who can't spell, and Suarez. And we're playing now live against these other people multiplication games. This is the kind of website I really, really like because you're competing live, virtual play, against other people, random people from around the world. You have no idea who you're playing against, whether it be a math professor or whether it be a, a seven-year-old. Looks like I am playing seven-year-olds right now because I'm beating the pants off them. Uh, they have no idea they're playing a math professor, though. So this is a type of a website, type of game that I really like and really think is, a, is, is the futuristic of uh, math skills. So it's only about a minute long. You can see other, other people aren't even on the screen right now. And I'm going to kill them. So you see this is the kind of activity, kind of website I would like you to collect. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. You're going to collect 25 different ones. And I win the game. Here are the other people, definitely 7 or 8 year olds, maybe 10 year olds. And at the end of the game, you see I win, I get my accuracy, and I get my rate. Okay. Another game that you might look into is called Sumdog, sumdog.com, a really interesting math game. I think you should check it out uh, yourself. And then there's one other site I want to bring your attention to, and then uh, you can find them on your own. Uh, this one is called, uh, gosh, I'm forgetting it. Uh, I don't really remember the name of the site. It's called Shepherd Software, and you can see it does more than math. But here are the math games. You can see it does an amazing job of doing all different skills. And by the way, Archidemics has different skills than just multiplication too, but it does basically K through 6 skills. You see all the skills up here for Archidemic and all the skills up here for, uh, for Shepherd Software. So you're going to find 25 websites. They're going to describe what they do. Hopefully you'll play a few games and have some fun. I don't care uh, what grade level you choose or you choose a multiple grade levels. There's much more elementary math games than high school math games and college games, but you certainly can uh, look and find anything you want for this particular assignment. Just don't forget the rubric. There's the rubric for the assignment. And that's all I have for you.